It's uh, how do I go? Oh, yeah, I need to make a party leader, I think, so I can enter coach slot. No, where is? Can you send me the link to your stream? I actually I can find it. Yeah. Not sure. Why I can't go coach slot for some reason? Uh, can you invite me? I'm leaving party. Yes, that should work. Uh, Okay, there we go. All right, let's queue. Just queue to your settings. I'm just coach, so I don't mind. Okay, cool. okay. So, uh, normal match. Well, let's yeah. do all pick. Yeah, pretty much. You just do a mid. Uh... Are you streaming already? Yeah. It's live. Okay. Uh, so, what type of coaching are we doing? Um, I think we just go for the general stuff, basically. Okay. I'm so, well go no lane. hero in particular, just general gameplay. Okay. I mean, yeah, we could we could do the hero thing as well. Um, any mid hero you wanna brush up on? Uh, we can do co-op. Queen of Pain, all right. Not the strongest in this patch, I would say, but sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, the. <dear. laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, you don't okay. actually have well, to go for. Yeah. What? Heroes, would you suggest for mid are good this match? Uh, I mean, obviously, the, the, I would say the top trifecta for me would be obviously Oldie, Invoker, and Zeus. Okay. Um, raising behind what? Zeus being that like his damage output is insane, and like with the recent uh, addition of Adderlands, like that buffed the hero so much, and Veil, of course, the different. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, I can try that. I haven't played Zeus since Etherlands, so... Yeah. Um, and I, I like him, and it's not as stressful as Invoker. You know, okay, if you like Zeus, play. okay. Uh, personal favorite of mine recently has been Wind Ranger. Um, mm -hmm. I really like her against a lot of the popular heroes. Like, In fact, all the popular offlaners, uh, if you think about it, Faces Void, Furion, Beastmaster, and Nature's Prophet. They all largely rely on right clicking. So, obviously, Wind Run very effective. Um, same goes for Exhort Invoker with the Spirits. And OD, obviously, is a lot about right clicking. Um, so, I actually, really like Wind Ranger as well. Mm. Though she's quite uh, difficult. But uh, I, I suppose you could wait a little bit. And... I've played shit ton of Wind Ranger. I like her as well. All right. Ash. Find your stream. For some reason, I don't have you on my follow bar. I mean, like online. you can just type the address, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Right. Oh, okay. Just gonna adjust my follow alerts because I think it's a little bit loud. I have the Earth Spirit, a very nice sound for every follow. Nice. But uh, it's kind of loud. Now I'm going to decrease that volume. Very nice. Still seems incredibly loud. No, I guess it's fine. <laughs> I'm just gonna post a comment that the stream is live right now so people can check it out if they <clears throat> Sounds good. Very nice. How what slash strike is now following? Yeah, that was How a test. You follow yourself. Oh, I just pressed the test button to try out the how how loud the sound is. Uh... All right. So, yeah, I, guess, I suppose we would just uh, see which hero is suitable for the game. Uh, I could also talk a little bit about like uh, what do you think about when picking a hero. Of course, apart from the... In this case, it's going to be normal match, all pick, so there, there won't be turns. There won't be turns, but... Uh, okay, I guess, yeah. We Wait for the last 10 seconds. Something like that. Hope you actually do get mid lane. Otherwise, we'll adapt. Yeah, no big deal. Matter. Oh shit, boys. There we go. Do you have to accept as well? Yep, that's why it's out of oh. 11. <laughs> can 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 potentially like every player have a coach? It's like 20. 
<laughs> you see? I suppose so, yeah. I wonder if that's ever happened in the history of Dota. Maybe if you make this popular, then lots of people will start doing it. Kappa. <laughs> Maybe. Alright. <clears throat> so hyped. Gonna get coached. Everyone's gonna see my glaring mistakes. <laughs> I mean, that's the point, right? Uh, otherwise, how can you improve? Yeah, exactly. You don't have to be shy, guys. Gotta accept that you suck, and then you become better. <laughs> Purge's famous guide. Welcome to Dora, you oh, suck. Alright. Um, so, like, coaches Lord. listen to... Uh, so, uh, what, what can you do? Yeah, you, can you, take... you might want to select mid, by the way. It looks like yellow. Oh, yeah. Uh, someone already selected it. Yeah, but you go ahead. Repick LS now. Lifestyle. I think this looks like a decent win ranger game. Might as well go ahead and pick it before the other guy else picks anything. You can just ask him. Let me meet. Normally, okay, nice. He moves like great, great stuff. Yeah, so these are also very common picks. Uh, I actually forgot to mention carries. Uh, but I, it's kind of straightforward that carries are often right clickers as well, obviously. So Ursa Warrior also and Slark, both really, really difficult uh, for them to deal with when Ranger. Uh, of course, once they. No, 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 tell them you're mid. Uh, I'm. 10 seconds remaining. Rip, he picked Zeus. Tell him to go safe and Zeus. Uh, that's fine. Wow, why do people have to do this stuff? And now they <laughs> want me to go off? <laughs> uh, okay, just go safe lane, I guess. It's it's all good. Same principles. But well, you're telling this to me, you need to select uh, team chat. Oh, shit. Um, two, how do I change that? Just press enter and you can take it. Say two. Yeah, I can't change it, dude. Um, I mean, the button oh. could be a bit off. I'll just click around it. Anyway, it's fine. They they, they realize what's happening. I think you should worry too much. So, okay, if you're safely in Ranger, starting on a build is going to be a bit different. Um, you definitely want to start off with the punch. You can see him there. He already has boots first. Uh, I can draw. You can see this, right? Yeah. Um, going to be some so... fight here. What's going on? They're not hitting each other. Okay, he's chasing, but uh, that's fine. He has zero base armor and without a stealth shield. Uh, you don't want to chase what him too far. What the fuck? Just, just focus on the creep. Holy shit, I didn't. Mango, because you have pretty high int already, so it's not like you need any emergency casts. Um, you're not going to need crazy amounts of regen. Looks like it's going to be awfully pudge, or... I mean, the team is mostly melee. So the good thing about this build is you... Uh, you can finish the magic wand from the side shop, uh, which is like an item you want anyway, and it's very cheap stats for one slot. Who am I going to be laning against? Yeah, it looks like uh, it's a Pudge. You can see him there. He already has boots first. Uh, I can draw. You can see this, right? Yeah. Um, gonna be some so... fight here. What's going on? They're not hitting each other. Okay, he's chasing, but uh, that's fine. He has zero base armor and without a stealth shield. Uh, you don't want to chase what him too the fuck? far. Just, just focus on the creep. Holy shit, I didn't think you actually, you might be able to get him. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, we lost sight. Rip. Yeah, the the Earth Spirit did some weird dance there. Generally, you don't want to dive that far because now you might miss out a bit of creeps yeah. in the bottom lane. And <laughs> especially if it's it's a pudge, um, it's like not a very valuable kill to begin with. Sure, it's first blood, but he has rot. It's a decent chance he'll deny himself or you not get the kill at all. Any XP, but I missed first CS. Yes. Um, so I need a stick really bad. Oh shit. He's, he's fighting them, but that's fine, don't worry. Just, yeah, focus on getting a couple last hits so you can get your early stick. Um, and now you're gonna be very glad you went for this build because early early wand against the Skywrath is exactly what you want. Um, their, damage, their damage actually does not rely too much on right clicks, so you might even wanna. Skip wind run. 
skip win run until like let's say about level four or so. You go like get the next two points in power shot for example. And right now, uh, I mean, there's a lot of trees. The way his character's positioned is an easy shackle. Both of them zero armor, so your right click is gonna be very strong. Um, I'll suggest you finish up the ring of Basilius and then go straight into phase boots. Or in fact, you could even hold on, hold off with the Basilius and just go straight for the phase boots. Again, like they have no armor, so your right clicks are very, very strong here. Uh, I mean, Budge is kind of looking for. He's actually okay. He just hit level two. It's time to start caring about the hook. But even then, not too much to worry about. All right, good, good last hitting. <laughs> yeah, just doesn't say that I jinx you. He's the jinx. Yeah, I mean, our spirit also hit level two. You guys actually do have a kill potential if he's positioned behind the creep like that. You could try for a shackle, uh, but no reason to force it. I mean, Chaco has a very high uh, casting range. If you actually hover over it, you see the circle. You can be standing quite far away. And generally, you can position yourself like very, very far away because you can target it on the creep, right? And if you're standing behind the creep wave, simply shackle the creep and it's gonna shackle behind it. It's very. It's a nice way to initiate because it's it's not apparent. You don't have to buy. Oh, shit. Ooh, Scarlet is quite deep. I mean, you should simply go on him. He gets hooked out, but yeah, it's an easy shackle instead of for you. Not even necessarily need to power shot, right? Just right click him. Awesome. Stuff. Ah, Scarret wraps around. Somehow there is pretty good juke, that's a bit unfortunate, but. So you get to kill you. Should get another one? Okay. Yeah, the Earth Spirit got a bit juke there, that was a bit strange. Oh, he could have also just turned around and hit the punch together with you. Uh, but, nah, uh, end of the day, you got the first butt, so. The better trade than overall. So, yeah, you have two creep waves, the creep is already dying. Uh, you should probably just go for a pull here. You can eat this tango with the tree. I mean, ideally, Earth Spirit will be doing it, but no reason to rely on him. You can do it as well. Just, just, just hit him. You, pull, you can pull like this. Remember to make sure, like, when they hit you, because uh, actually, if you get hit while you're next to your creeps, doesn't matter how far the neutrals away are, uh, your creeps will get aggroed just from the hit landing on you. <clears throat> So I'll take the next point in Windrun, and after that I would actually get... Um, the, the common build is to just simply max power shot, so level 3 power shot, level 5. Uh, but I like getting a second point in Shackle at level 5, because uh, usually, especially on the side lane, you're not exactly spamming out the power shot to farm. Uh, the damage increase is not that huge, but going from 1.5 to 225 Shackle is, is pretty big. Uh, and especially as you hit level 6, again, these low armor heroes, when you have your face boots passy. Have a lot of plus damage and um, just simply focus firing them is often going to be more damage than trying to go for power shot, which even has a chance to miss. So, all right, yeah, you can afford to finish your phase boots. Also, now with the phase boots, you're like quite quite survivable. Even if you get somehow hooked into rot, just win run phase boots. It's easy out to outrun them. Now with level two shackle, I would go for. When Skyrat is positioned like that, you can try to target the range creep, shock him like that. Uh, angle's a little bit off there. Uh, when he's that far away, you got, you gotta be really precise. Um, but yeah, it's, it's like a low commitment kind of thing, because even if you miss, it doesn't matter too much. I wouldn't I go for it mana. under the tower. That's why I'm calling uh, bomb. You can, you can power shot this wave or just simply right click it, push it out, and then pull the next wave. Shit, what the fuck? Yeah, I think you just. Win runner. He's trying to line up the hook. Oh, he does get it. Okay, back. Get bombed. Nice. Okay, you do end up going down. Gonna die? Bit unfortunate, but. Yeah. I was just. That was a. Bad awareness from me. Like Fucking get the actor behind. Didn't even see him. Really I mean, it's not shot. entirely your bad because uh, you're sitting without the ward. You're left alone and it's. Uh, you're up against two heroes, essentially. Um, And you still got a kill before dying, so. How did Vin Ranger die? It's not the worst what? of. Worst of scenarios. I'm actually gonna go ahead and mute uh, your team because it's a bit distracting. This is such a controversial advice, but um, I believe muting your team has allows you to focus uh, on the game a lot more. Um, and generally, the advice is not that great, uh, even if it is like 
Very often it's not even advice like this or a spirit complaining that you die. It doesn't really <laughs> contribute anything to the game. Um, you may want to consider getting a observer ward for yourself. For, ideally, your team will buy it for you, but um, no harm buying it for yourself. But yeah, I'll definitely take focus fire at level six. You can even start pressuring the lane. This push is actually very long if you. Okay, that was a you had an angle for a shackle there. Oh yeah, you even see a ward. If if you could try to get a shackle like that on the creep. Um, Right now, as you push into the tower, when I mean, you have an option here, you can either try to play aggressive by pushing in the tower. Invoker is dead, you see Sark on top, or so probably jungling. But Skyrath could wrap around on you. Or you could pull the next wave and try to play a bit safe. But Pudge is already very low HP, so. He. I don't know, you should be checking his items. I don't know if you noticed, but he has a magic stick. Already four charges on it. So that's something to keep in mind. If you dive him, you might pull away too early. Magic sticks at the last second, let him survive. Chip. This guy runs, okay. Which is fine. They're, he's tanking creeps right now, you, you could turn and fight as long as you don't get hooked. Hook is already missed, so you could simply focus fire this guy and you'll die. Okay, that was nice. Um, execution could have been a little bit cleaner. I think you hesitated a bit with the focus fire. Um, if you did it a little bit earlier, he would get less arcane okay, bolts off on you. Uh, when you're this low HP mana, you could simply go base. I will be careful for the invoker. Uh, he is exhort, but he did not use some strike. So you're fine. Um, oh. Okay, he tried, okay. Uh, you could upgrade your Basilius to an Aquila. It's, it's, really? it's debatable. Sure, you're not uh, a majority hero, but the stats are still great. You have the Bazzi anyway. Probably want to keep it for a while. Um, you can see... I just feel like Agon is such a big item. Or like, it's 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 a reference thing. You could also just rush out of the items, yeah. It's not a big issue. But yeah, uh, going for there's several Wind Ranger builds, but uh, I agree with the uh, choice to go items first. This game, a decent amount of nuking potential on the heroes. Even their carries like Urs and Slark have some magical nukes, so you can go ahead and use the courier. It's at the super strong. So yeah, going for that uh, first item, Aghanim's just give you that general beefiness and of course it's, it's the best way to also scale into the late game because you're not buying these uh, like usually the point of cheaper damage items such as Maelstrom or Desolator is to get them quick and get like uh, fast and cheap damage but if you're building as a position one safe and carry <clears throat> going for the Aghanims is a better like late game investment essentially because it's something you definitely want as part of your 6 slot So yeah, the thing is, uh, you're still in a relatively dangerous situation right now because this whole area is black, so people could TP in to gank your lane. Yeah, I know there's a pudge, but there seems to be a f no pudges there as well. There could be rotations, so... Um, yeah, that's why it's generally a good idea to have a safe lane ward, because it gives you vision of the tower. You can always see if someone is TPing in, you can see if someone's coming in from the river, part of the woods. It just gives you a lot of safety in general. But uh, yeah, you see a lot of people all elsewhere on the map, so you could start pressuring this lane. Turn on your ring of Basilius. No, I'm a bit scared that I, they come from the river, especially because the runes about to spawn. Yeah, thing is, it's it's still pushing out the lane is still a good idea because you can push out the lane, move back, uh, hit some jungle camps. Um, you, obviously, you cannot tank them, so you'd have to like hit, run back, and hit them as the control moving way. It's it's slow, but the point is that it's very safe because you're also pushing out the lane. So you might force someone to rotate, but yeah, now, right now, it's, that's a good move. You see Skyrat, you see Invoker and Pudge on mid. So you have some... Even if you don't fully get the tower, you're at least getting very good damage. And you might actually get it. As After that creep dies, you can use Winrun to tank. Although they'll probably... Yeah, actually, that's fine. Because if you if you did Winrun... I mean, Sark is still up, and it's not like Ursa would gank you. I think you could have gone for it, but it doesn't matter too much. This is the safer alternative. Uh, okay, late, so you're tipping into the fight. Can... Yeah, I'm right. You might get him. Shot, almost okay, looks like you're still chasing those. This might end up being worth it after all. Oh, fuck. Okay, wow, never lucky. 
Okay, you got the invoker kill. So that ended up being okay. Um, I'm not sure. Personally, I would not have gone for that TP because uh, like getting the tower was 100% secure. And so everyone was there and I wasn't sure how exactly it would go. I'm not sure the enemies tried to turn and still fight, which is why you ended up getting those kills. Uh, but that's a mistake yeah. from them. If they didn't, if they simply ran away, you would waste a lot of time, waste the money TPing, and they might even be in time to defend that tower afterwards. So, overall, I would prioritize getting the towers as the safe play, uh, but it ended up working out, so that's okay. It's uh, 46, you can get the stack here. Um. I, mean, I never know this one. Is it best to the left or to the... Oh, shit. 53. Okay, anyway. 53, but the problem is you already hit it too early, so... Yeah. Um, if you hold... Uh, if you hold Alt, you can see the spawn box now. It's in your future. I'm not sure if you know oh. that. Oh! Wait, Alt? Alt, yeah. You see the yellow lines. That's the spawn box. I'm pressing it, but I don't see it. Oh, wait. It's, a, it's an option you actually have to enable in the, oh, okay. uh, in the settings, but yeah, that's okay. Uh, usually to the, all, to the left is easier for that camp. The camps are still, almost all of them are pretty much 53, except uh, these two, which are 55. Right, right now you're very close to your Agnum, so oh. you want to avoid all those space. I don't want to die. Yeah, you want to avoid farming dangerous situations when you're close to big item. Especially since you just hit your level 11, which is another big power spike. Yeah, when you're farming this camp, you could simply move up here, like they'll chase you and you can keep hitting them from the high ground. If you time your hits like that, yeah, that's good timing. Then you can aggro the other one as well. This way you don't take that much damage. And uh, a bigger aspect is the fact that you're up on the high ground, so no one can come like this and surprise you while you're farming. Okay. Comes getting kills. Okay, so you have your Agnims. Now is a good time to start moving with your team. Oh, nice shackle. Let's see if this ends up being a kill. Oh, shit. Oh, what? Oh, the cold snap. Oh, the cold, the cold snap prevented you from casting. That was yeah, quite unfortunate. Uh, micro the clear away. It's in a dangerous spot there. That was a bit unfortunate. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's a bit of a silly way to die. I'm not sure. Your spirit had mana to use silence as well. I'm not sure why he didn't, or he could have simply stunned earlier. But uh, yeah, so either way, not exactly ideal scenario, but not too bad either. Trading you for an invoker. Anyway, uh, now that you have your Aghanims, uh, your tower push becomes very strong. It's very early into the game, so the enemy's tower defense is not that great. Invoker's still low level, it's like he has access to big combos yet. And you have pretty good early team fighting, great early game team fighting, I would say, with Zeus, Bounty, Phoenix, or Spirit. So, yeah, this uh, is a situation I never know what to do. Don't, don't use your TP, just, just start running mid, pop your Windrun as your Living Fountain. Because you have mana regen anyway, okay. You could have. When you leave the fountain. Is... Oh, shit. When you leave the fountain, you can just use Windrun because you're gonna regen back up anyway. And makes oh, yeah, you faster. Right. Um, so the point is, yeah, you have this really strong tower push, you wanna make use of that by going together with your team. Um, okay, this could be they're lining up perfectly. Okay, you get the move this, you should be dead. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that worked out, you get a return kill. And uh, now that you're three. Slash four heroes top lane could go for the oh there's Zeus getting hooked oh shit but yeah okay very very cool game a lot of team fights going on I think he still has ultimates so now need to chase okay pretty cool I mean when he's ulted you want to just get close to him and avoid actually hitting him because it's reduced anyway but yeah so you want to get up with your team and push towers now make use at least the tier ones should drop very easily with your Agnum's ultimate. And especially the low cooldown means that if enemies try to fight to defend, you, you have the ultimate up for the fight as well. Uh, it's a bit dangerous right now to be top because you actually have no vision, so it might be a better idea to go for the mid tower. Because you have these two wards, so it means it's a lot safer and you won't get surprised while pushing. At least Lark is pretty poor. Uh, yeah. You have the Phoenix ultimate very soon, which means your team is gonna be great. Bounty is about to respawn. Yeah, it's a good idea to move mid and just uh, go with 5 now. Invoker is uh, Midas, he's level 11, but he still doesn't do that much, it's just a 4 spirits. Looks like a spirit wanted to initiate, but uh, no. Okay, he sees the punch, but no one goes for anything. Um, okay, actually, 
Because you had the magic stick there, but Invoker doesn't win. Okay, he buys back, you should probably get back here. Um, generally when a core buys back... Ooh, nice shackle. But he might not get anything. Zeus had his bolt ready, I'm not sure why he didn't go for it. And now he goes back in. That's very interesting. Alright. Uh, yeah, generally when a core buys back, uh, you could try to kill him again, which obviously would be really bad for him, but... The safe play is pretty much always to just back off, because if they buy back and nothing happens, that's a loss for them. Uh, so, like, that's a guaranteed way for you to get ahead. Uh, Phoenix might be looking to initiate egg here. Yeah, it's level 2 egg. Pretty sure he can. Oh, he did not get it off the time. Did I need to get to this fight? Uh... It could have gone great, but the Phoenix made a slight mistake there with his egg. I'm confused here. Th th oh. There's three deaths, so you should. Really? Yeah, as soon as the egg was dead, you should have backed off. I think um, you're trying to enter fights too much. Yeah. Um, if, you're, if your team is taking a bad fight, uh, with your current farm, you're not going to make it better just by going in there, because chances are they're gonna be dead by the time you get there and then if it's 1v5 obviously it's not gonna go well and with uh, this like Agnes Windranger like one of your strengths is that you not only push creeps pretty fast with power shot but you take towers very fast as well so especially this tier 1 top for example is still up and if you notice that okay there's the entire enemy team is mid sure like your team is losing the fight but what you can do at that point is you simply go top and you take a tower and suddenly it's not so bad because Okay, your team lost the fight, maybe they got wiped 4 for 0, but you didn't die and you got a tower, so it ends up being okay-ish. Uh, and obviously much better than uh, you dying as well and not getting anything out of it. And generally, like, Wind Ranger is not a bad hero to counter gank with TPs, but she's not that great at it either. Um, because you don't have a blink dagger, so you kind of rely on the enemies messing up, standing next to the trees for you to land your power shot. I always hate Slark, dude. Never like engaging him. Yeah, but Winner is uh, honestly not not that bad against Slark. You're farming shit, so you like you want to move. Uh, I know you do this quite a bit where you just tank them head on. Uh, it doesn't read. Really you don't really lose anything by moving a bit further away and you take uh, less damage overall. Which uh, ends up making a difference in the long run. You're quite good against Lark honestly because he relies a lot on stealing stats and oh, shit. with your evasion. Oh, that was close, yeah. Slark is moving here, but you're fine, yeah. you have your win run. Oh, there's a bunch there as well. You can power shot here just to scout him out. A little bit scared. Yeah, oh, you yeah. should move towards the start when he dodges. Oh, that was unfortunate. At least there is a of room, but... Yeah, not the best shackle angle there. Move a little bit to the side, even if I had to. Let's see if this Phoenix Egg manages to go off. Oh! So, <laughs> Phoenix might be able to clean up here. Oh, the cold snap. He brings down Sark with him at least, which is pretty good, but yeah. I mean, so this situation, um, it would have been better to go for the Sark because, like, the Pudge was here, right? And the Sark was here, and three of your yeah. team was here. So if you move to the left, you're basically moving closer to your team, right? And, uh, less chance of something happening. Like, if Pudge runs at you as well, like, okay, you just, you can always fall back to your team. But you stayed here and you went for the Pudge, which means you were between the Pudge and the, and the Sark. And your team couldn't really help you because the Sark was there. And they can really just walk through him, so... Also, I mean, you, you, you had a tower as well, so... Uh, as for items, um, since, yeah, you got a very fast items, but now the game's not going too great. I was just going straight for BKB at this point. Uh, you won't get a BKB at some point anyway. Ideally, you would get another item before it. Maybe even another item plus blink before it, but... With the way the game is going, I think uh, you need to go for it straight away. Uh, you could obviously get the Metro Hammer first, because it's good damage. Uh, if you use this, yeah, use this Dark Pact, so you could try it for Shackle there. I mean, your whole team's behind you. Yeah. He, he's not that stupid, so I guess he, he goes for the dodge. Uh, definitely 
don't run up them though. I mean, this this position here, like you don't want to leave this high ground when you don't know exactly where everyone is. Mm -hmm. I mean, Sark actually has no, he has Sanji Asha drums, but it's not like he has a blink or shadow blade. So unless it's him surprising, you should never let him just get a pounce on you. Uh, like you should not even be in range for it, actually. All right, now that you're dead, you can spend this time to check out enemy items. Uh, for example, okay, I'm, I'm looking at your perspective now. I mean, you can always kind of know what your team has, but yeah, it's a good idea to know. For example, Podge has Yules, I'm sure if you knew that. Ursa is going for either a Basher or an MKB. Most likely a Basher. People usually go for a Demon Edge first when they're going MKB. But. Um. Alright, yeah, no, no reason to TP to this. That was pretty much fine. You don't want to move out of the base now, just make sure you hold the high ground. Careful not to get hooked. And start spamming out power shots to slow down your push. Let's click okay. my ult. Walker is out of position, so it's a free kill, that's good. Oh, uh, you're fine, Pudge is not ultimate, you might be able to get Ursa as well. I think Shackle and Power Shot or just Power Shot, yeah, that's good. Careful, Ursa. It's Bow Hunter. When you're farming these creeps, uh, I mean, they're all dead, but you shouldn't try to position yourself a bit more defensively. Like, if there's no reason to leave the high ground, then you shouldn't. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Uh, so, do you think I should still get the BKB? Or uh, yeah, I would say go straight for the BKB. Pick up the Mithra Hammer now. Yeah, the thing is, uh, like I mentioned, if the game is going well, or if you're snowballing, you often want to avoid getting the BKB early. Because obviously the later you get it, the better the charges, and you better pick up items that help you farm. Uh, but since the game is not going too well, you're often forced to fight to defend the objectives. Um, you, yeah, you, you're kind of forced to go for the BKB, and it's not like you're getting too much time to farm anyway. So you're not missing out too much uh, by not going for a damage item. Also, you're not exactly the main source of DPS on your team right now, anyway. Uh, your mostly biggest contribution is basically hitting towers, which you do just fine even with the BKB and Aghanims. Um And for the team fights themselves, um, dying a lot to the Sky Wrath, Silence, the Invoker spells, so yeah. BKB plus Windrun will definitely help keep you alive. At least until the cores start getting MKBs up, which hopefully is not going to be too soon. I don't want to hold on to the shackle there because that obviously will pop his dark back to me at least. Not even be able to catch him while I was taking out. Right. Ideally, the Earth Spirit will go date to punish such an early movement, but. Alright, so looking at the state of the game now, they just took Roche um, or says they just. They have a pretty large goal advantage too. Uh, you want to try and finish up your BKB if possible before the next fight. Um, if you get ganked by Ursa or Slark, you can simply win run TP out. Same goes for Skywrath. Uh, he does a lot of damage, but most likely not enough to kill you before you TP. They're so pretty much the only one that can cancel your TP is Pudge and Invoker, so yeah. If you see those mid, then this is a really safe tower to go for. And it might just be your BKB, which would be great to have before I don't push. Slark is pushing bottom lane. So the same items. Push the stain on as far as you can. Um, you have not reached the high ground yet. And your high ground defense is quite good even without you. The, just the Zeus and the Phoenix can hold quite well. Yeah, there's no reason to back off yet because again... You, there's you see, a Sky and Invoker missing. You see the Pudge. Okay, you don't see Invoker, that's a good point. You want to power shot this and get back in the trees. Okay, you should be making it in time. Fuck. Just, just a second to late, yeah. Um, yeah, so I mean, the, the play I would have gone for, like, you just power shot these creeps. Uh, by that, you might have also scouted this guy, right? Because he's coming from this area. But then you want to stay, like, on the top side of the map. Um, and what you can do in these situations is you simply go on the trees here, for example, and you wait for a bit, wait until you see someone. And if you don't see someone, you can uh, obviously TP out at some point. But if you do see them, like, they might, they'll, they'll see that you're gone from top right, and they'll think, okay, she's gone, we can keep pushing, and then you step out of the trees. So, 
So there's Bash from Earth, Blink Tiger. Yeah. Rod of Atos and Skywrath. So, oh. so far ahead from us, it's gonna be a hard game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, actually, the Moker does not have too much. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, there's a BKB and Sork, okay. The good news is though, none of these items really hurt you particularly, apart from the Rod of Atos, which will actually allow them to hit you with an accuracy thing. But... That's a low. Uh, it's it's not a good idea to shot, but he has so much HP, plus he has a cell fuels, and even if you do somehow get him, it's not gonna guarantee you the fight. He's not really the biggest damage dealer. Ideally you wanna kill off the invoker very as early as possible or the Skywrath. Skywrath has a lot of HP but uh, quite low armor. But yeah, for now the play is to simply spam out power shots and make sure they cannot push in. You can occasionally throw shackles. Uh, which again you don't have to commit to um, if they land. Okay, interesting. Big plays. Shit. Still fine. They're committing really I deep in their base. This, this could be a good fight for you. Uh, he has Aegis, but you might be able to bring him down twice. Actually, I don't have my Windrunner. Oh. Yeah, wind you, you, you could at least use the Shackle there to mini stun him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Help you live a little bit And longer. I got stunned by something as well. Yeah. I can go with the he basher. Has a, he has a basher. Yeah. That's unfortunate. They couldn't really deep. Uh, that was just weird. The, fight. the Phoenix uh, actually died while getting his uh, Nova off. Uh, but on the bright side, your tier 3 tower is still up. No, he did not get it off. You can see the, the green circle. Yeah, yeah. The green rhombus. Uh, to be fair, it's quite difficult for him to use it as well because the Sark uh, can purge off the attack speed slow. Ursa is obviously is overpowered, so he can hit very fast despite spirits. Yeah. Um, so he needs to be in a really, really good spot to use it. Ideally, he would uh, dive in, throw yeah, out spirits. We have no real front line. <laughs> Our tankiest hero is Earth Spirit with no real HP. That's true. I guess it's used slightly. Well, we didn't lose anything yet, and I'm back alive. Yeah. I guess I go top. You can still there, see they're still hanging around mid. They, it looks like they really want this tower. Should really try to stay close and keep power out the waves. Okay, uh, we can see there is under the ward. He has a demon edge, so he is going for the MKB now. That is something to keep in mind. Four staff on the pudge as well. Um, Bloodstone picked up on Skywrath. So again, Skywrath. Holy shit! A lot of HP. But... Okay, Phoenix makes it out. This could be good. Ursa already popped his ultimate. Nice shackle. Uh, yeah, he actually ended up going down. This is great. You can still take this fight. Use my Stork. Be careful the hook on the side. Misses. Yeah, we went on up so you can play aggressive again. I would go for the Skywrath chase, but... Oh god, the Panzer! Yeah, that's unfortunate. This whole time, Phoenix actually still has his ultimate. Didn't yeah. use, that's kind of strange. Um, I got my PKB before dying. They could have also tried to save you at least with the disables to stop the dismember, but... Um, we do kill the Slark in the Ursa, so ends up being okay in the end. Sunray is really powerful. Um, and yeah, you have your BKB now. So, especially with the BKB now, you're extremely safe. Uh, again, you won't be once Ursa gets his... Um, he has a Basher ready, and he's going for MKB. Um, plus, Pudge Dismember can cancel your TP through BKB, but other than those two, free free the split push. Holy shit, this guy is beyond godlike. He's gonna give some golds. Yeah, again, he has a lot of HP, but very little armor because of his item build, so. You can get away with. Uh... He, he's definitely still killable despite being very tanky. Well, that's like the guy carrying them, basically. 20 kills. It's not all about the kills, but yeah, I could put it like that. Invoker is, is quite on the front, considering he's on the winning team. But he does have his items now, so it's gonna become a threat as well. 
when the cores run into you with PKB, especially the Slark, uh, you could just go for the Focus Fire. Of course, Slark is still gonna have his Dark Pack, but. Okay, yeah, it's, it's a good thing you didn't use your PKB there. But unfortunately, everyone is getting jumped at this point. Just keep spamming your power shot to at least clear the creeps as much as possible. Try to get Shackle on the guys hitting the Vex. Oh, perfect angle. Okay, you get the invoker at least. I will bring him down. Nice, that's really good. Mana Rex still standing. I think that was the time to go aggressive on him. You have your BKB. Nice. Stark no longer has his Dark Pact, so... You get the punch, but you don't mind at all. Shit. Not like this. Oh, I'm fucked. Good fight. Nice. Oh, missed this pass at least. Could go for the focus fire, maybe even try shot here. You can now TP behind him after try. Oh, nice shot, nice. Perfect. Okay, Mokra's actually gonna die back here. This is quite good for you, even though you lost the Rex. Oh shit, no! Oh. Nice, close. Nice. Ursa, blink. Ursa, no MKB. Okay. We're still alive. And Invoker die back. You can TP here and try to kill the Skyrath from behind. Or just go for Ursa, yeah, that's also fine. Throw the Shackle and like, there's trees behind him. Nice. So, uh, lost the Rex, but yeah. got a lot of monies. Yeah, that's good. So now let's talk about the next item pickup. Um, the Slark is alone, no reason to get scared. Just hold Fox Fire him if he's willing to. You can even start running in front of him with Wind Run, make sure he can't bounce away. Play balance in all things. Oh shit. Partial provision. Oh, I missed. Close. Okay, you get him. Nice, that's good. That was just a killing spree and he got 1.2k gold for that, that's amazing. Uh, so yeah, considering you're already up against Megas on the mid lane, um, could consider going for a Maelstrom and eventual Mjolnir. Uh, they do have BKBs but they're already starting to run low, so it's not a bad option. Other options you have are, of course, the Daedalus, just for pure damage. Um, normally I would like Desolator, but not this game because there's no other physical damage dealer on your team, so no one's really going to benefit from a Desolator. Uh, you could also preemptively go for the MKB if you anticipate either Slark or Ursa going for evasion, but think, it's not very likely. I think Daedalus is pretty good. So yeah, Daedalus does seem like the best option here. Which uh, do you sell? The Wand or the Bazzi? Uh, I would Bazzi? sell the the Wand actually, because yeah. at this point you're, you already have over 2k HP. Um, and the armor might actually come in handy against uh, Ursa diving you. Uh, I would not buy the, the recipe right now. Oh, that's not yours, that's... No, no, I had bought it. Oh, okay, okay. Took too many times. Uh, it bugged out. It showed me that bounty had a dateless recipe, and it was quite weird. Okay, there's a fight. This is not a great place to fight, but... Oh, no, actually, you're out of my so yeah, this, this is pretty good. It's a free kill on the Skywrath. Shadows on latch, unfortunately. He does not have an MKB yet, so you're fine. Uh, both Skyrat and Pudge are dead, so if you do get a Shackle here and you have Focus Fire up, you could turn on the Evoker. But no, Sark is coming, I'll probably get out, yeah. If he runs too far into you, you could no, no, no. Play it safe, yeah. Ours is very close to uh, his MKB though, so you wanna pay attention to that. But yeah, it is it's quite difficult getting at this point. And I agree with the uh, choice to not save for buyback because with, when you're behind you kind of want to get your items up as soon as possible. You just go ahead and hit the Slark here, like he's tanking the tower. You won't kill him but you just want to make sure you can't uh, play slow ball and get free damage in on the tower. Oh my BKB, BKB. BKB is still open. Yeah. Okay, they're all limping away. HP. We have everything still. Nice. This guy just melts. Yeah, look at that. Low armor, go to work. It's hard to stay. 
I don't think you need to be afraid more, but okay. Yeah, no reason to chase. Um, I guess Slark, especially, I think you want to be a bit more patient with your shackle. Um, yeah. It's not like other heroes where you just throw it as soon as there's a good opportunity. You need to wait for a dark pack to expire. You could try and... Okay, that, that was a decent attempt, but he's running a bit strange. The thing We're is with Slark... Yeah. The Slark keeps um, like running in, running out, trying to bait spells. Um, instead of looking for an angle to kill him, you could also simply focus fire him and force him away. Uh, he's gonna yeah. drop pretty fast and he has to basically back off. He shouldn't have ulti right now. <laughs> yeah, look how, look how fast he that's amazing. That ice wall was very, very annoying. Uh, I think I'm being a bit too as I mean, in this last fight, there was no reason to BKB, but the one before that, I think you could have definitely fought BKB. I mean, you still uh, survived, obviously, but uh, BKB was like for offensive purposes to make sure you actually get the kills and don't get uh, slowed down too much. Ursa has, has his MKB now, so be very careful of that. He can kill you very quickly. If you suspect he has vision of you, you, you cannot kill him through his ultimate. Now that his ult is down, then it's nice. And try to win run TP yeah. perhaps, or... Uh, it's... I had win run almost off cooldown, I think he could have ran a bit further like here, or trying this TP, something like that. Um, yeah. The thing is yeah, with Ursa's bad. ultimate, sure it's damage reduction, but honestly you should really consider it to be invulnerability, because that's practically what it is. I mean, you saw how uh, you dropped him to, what, 10% in like a couple seconds, and then as soon as he turned on his ultimate, he stopped taking damage. Uh, it's it's just uh, too much damage reduction. If it's up, you pretty much have to ignore him or dodge him. So then, I mean, your Phoenix has buyback. Oh no, he doesn't actually. You might be the only one with buyback. A dangerous situation, especially if you don't have BKB. That slow is so extreme. Yeah. No, it's a big game. Yeah, in the end of the day, this guy did a lot of work for them. Um, I mean, it was a very chaotic game. I don't think they might actually not be able to finish it right here, but versus respawning and coming back up. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm wrong actually. You still have Rex, so. Definitely not over all low HP, they're gonna die. Oh, where's Spur? There's no stones left. Ah, the Bloodstone from Skyrath healed Invoker. Okay, they actually only took the tower and left your Rex alive. They seem to do this a lot where they dive past the Rex. It's a quite a classic yeah. mistake, actually. Instead of just getting the Rex. Still, though, the game is very difficult. At this point, I would personally go for a blink just to try and get some huge shackle win because. Uh, I see that as one of the only ways you can get back into this game. Get a big two-man shackle and try to win the fight off of that. Or get an immediate pick-off on the Ursa, for example. Um, so I think uh, Blink Dagger here is a good idea. No! Wait, what? Invoker TP is there? What the fuck? Oh, please! He has good yes. control. Getting a bunch of kills. Yeah, but like Invoker TP from here to here. <laughs> oh. I <laughs> That happens. Uh, but yeah, you do end up losing the Brax. Both tier 4s are down. So, it's, it's a disaster. Really very difficult at this point. Uh, they can honestly just suicide for the throne even. Spot. Fine, you want to make sure up. they throw, they throw. It's fine. You want to make sure uh, you keep all the lanes pushed out as much as possible, especially the top lane. It's the only lane they don't have uh, big mega creeps in, so you can give it some momentum and it will stay. Definitely want to TP scroll on you though when you do this. Babak is still on cooldown for a long time. Uh, yeah, go ahead and buy a TP scroll and you can move top to push further out. Again, with the Daedalus, uh, you have great hero damage, but not that amazing at pushing out lanes. 
So you can leave the large, um, like Mega Creep Lane push out to the Phoenix, and Zeus will have more AoE. Oh. Right, let's out position. He has a Dagon. Shackle. At this point, when you right click so hard, you should definitely go for the. Ignore the power shots because. Like that power shot, you wasted the full second. And it didn't matter too much, but yeah, it's a lot more damage to right click at this point. Which one's my dick? Ah. Uh. So yeah, it's not my buyback, so okay, get the blink dagger. Refresh up on Phoenix. <laughs> Blink very aggressively. So yeah, just carry him? Yeah. Uh, even after respawn, you can still focus for him. Oh my! Oh, that was good. I think he had a lot of HP. Oh, dropping very fast. Good okay, stuff, and Walker's still alive. If you chase him down, you're almost full HP. Okay, they actually threw quite a bit. Um, if you're still in this game, yeah. Now it's a good time to start getting those towers, tier 1s at least. Just 3 deaths for quite a while. Uh, be careful until you get your BKB back up. And then you should be fine as long as you manage to evade the local spells. Yeah, but this. Yeah, not really worth it. is annoying. The waste you win run like that, but yeah. If you see any buyback, you should immediately blink out and run, obviously, but. So far, so good. Try standing in the creep so you don't get hooked. When it could be in the trees anywhere. Love. Okay, there we go. That was a free shackle, okay. What the? The big beast will also want to get out. That's full. Rep. You really want to uh, consider this stage of the game, Power Shot is pretty much only a scouring tool or uh, a way to cancel Blink Taggers, but. Never use it for damage. Like when the touch came out of the trees here, uh, like you have several options. Like you either go for the shackle, you immediately start focus firing him, uh, or you run away. But power shotting him really does not do anything, pretty much. Uh, it's just he has so much HP, has high magic resistance. But even if I weren't him, like the power shot damage is completely relevant at this stage of the game. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, pretty much the only use is to scout or to cancel blinks. And for that, you. Um, there's no reason to channel it fully. You just want to let it go as soon as possible. Of course, the only exception will be if someone is escaping on HP, you want to get the snipe. But those are pretty rare scenarios. So you have buyback soon. Hopefully your team can hold on until you respawn. Um, at this point, you should also probably look towards getting boots of travel. Possibly replacing the face boots for more money. But it's looking tough. I guess we can get his pipe off. I mean, you're gonna have to fight without you. The problem is the exit at the base because someone got hooked out. <laughs> he healed so much from the out. Looks like it's not gonna be enough. So, well, to sum up this game, um, there was a lot of early game skirmishes and fighting. I think uh, in order to really carry your team, uh, you could have prioritized going for the three tower pushes a little bit more, because the tier 1 stayed up for a really long time. In fact, the tier 1 mid you only managed to take just now. Is he shackled? <laughs> I think it was shackled to the invisible walker, that's where the animation blew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the f? Yeah, the thing is with Wind Ranger with uh, Agnum's first item, um, it's, it's just not a fighting build. It's it's really great for taking towers, but it's not great for running into fights or TPing to counter gank and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to have that playstyle, it's much better to go for Maelstrom into Blink or even Blink into Maelstrom or blink into Aghanims. Um But generally, if you want to fight early, you really need that blink to line you up for 
shock initiations and generally being able to get in and secure kills on people. If uh, that is of course a very risky playstyle, and I think going for Aghanim's first is the right choice. It's just that uh, you need to adjust your playstyle and consider that you're also the only uh, physical damage dealer on the team. So pretty much the only one that can take towers. Um, like obviously the Zeus cannot really take mid tower. Uh, yeah, none of the heroes are right clickers pretty much uh, apart from you. So it's kind of your responsibility to to push the towers early on. And with the great start you had, uh, you, you could uh, you got the tower on your lane obviously quite early. But after that, uh, I think you, yeah, you could have definitely prioritized getting the other tier ones at least and dodging acts a little bit more, uh, dodging fights until you get that blink at least. Uh, so, what are your thoughts? How do you feel the game went? Um, I are you still streaming? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. I felt like. I mean, that game was just a bit weird. Um. I mean, it's it's an unusual experience, you know, to have someone. Of course, uh, it's it's a bit different to play with. So yes. Watching you. And it was normal, and it was a like just within the game itself. It was already a strange game. Just lots of crazy positions and people in places where they shouldn't be. Uh, yeah, but yeah. I mean, uh, what exactly do you mean with people places they shouldn't be? Like, what caught you off guard <laughs> during that game? No, like I. I I was trying to hit someone in front of me, and while this was happening, my team words, teammates were dying behind me, and so I just I couldn't focus on one thing, and I just had to run around the team fights a lot, mm -hmm. just to dodge Slark and Ursa, and at the same time they're having another duel with magic. And, oh. <laughs> just right. a I little mean, bit at least for the early game, um, there's not much reason to be afraid of like uh, Slark and Ursa, right? Because can dodge their, uh, their right clicks, which is most of the damage. Uh, same goes from Volker, pretty much. Um, the one... The, the main thing you seem to be dying to, at least in the early game, was the combination of Cold Snap plus the uh, Mystic yeah. Flare, which had a lot of instances, as well as Rot, which also had a lot of instances. It ended up being a new, pretty much, perma stun. And not uh, and the winner is obviously not very effective against that. Uh, but I think uh, what happened was, uh, you had a good point, that you have no frontliner. Which is perhaps why it felt weird. Uh, whereas the enemy team had a, a Pudge who was very tanky and is a support, so he can just run in. Even if he gets focused and dies, it's not the end of the world because, I mean, he's just a support Pudge. Uh, they, of course, had an Ursa who can soak up a lot of damage with ultimate. Same goes for Slark. Same goes for Slark, yeah. And, and that allows Skyrath and Volker to just sit back and keep dishing out their spells. And you have these three Fallen that are hard to deal with, and it's very difficult to reach the back line. We literally had four heroes that wanted to sit behind. Exactly, yeah. I mean, to be honest, even Earth Spirit... Uh, yeah, kind of. He, yeah, he doesn't... Oh he can initiate, he's a support, of course, but he dies fairly quickly, and you kind of want to counter-initiate as an Earth Spirit, more than initiate. Oh uh, because the, yeah, the, the boulder smash is just better for that. So that kind of is what led to those weird fights. Uh, one way to deal with this fact is simply to speed push a little bit more until you get a little bit more items and for example if you went uh, items first was fine as i said it allows you to get those early towers and let's say you dodged fights uh, apart from those the first few tps were okay you missed out on some farming and pushing time but you didn't die and you got some return kills which was fine <laughs> um, if you avoided those skirmishes though, mainly on mid, also where you took some dangerous positions like on the low ground without vision of the high ground, on the Slark Jumpy for example, um, I mean that's just a very dangerous spot to be in if you don't have vision, you definitely want to avoid doing that. Um, and if you manage to get your Aghanims in your blink up for example, even though like phase boots Aghanims blink, sure it's not a lot of damage, but uh, considering you had the Aghanims at 13 minutes, I think if you kept that safe playstyle, you could have the blink uh, by, let's say, 18, maybe 17 yeah. even, uh, especially with a couple of tower kills. And at that point, uh, you're very strong. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Skyrath had very little items. So, for example, Skyrath, you could easily kill in one blink shackle focus fire. 
and, and that's the way you could split up the fight by when those three frontliners of theirs go in, you jump past them, shackle the, the Skyrath, just kill him. Invoker can't really do a whole lot again because he's exhorted with four spirits and just win run. Neither can the rest. Uh, pretty much the only thing that can stop you is a hook, which you can dodge easily with win run anyway. And if you immediately take out the Skyrath, suddenly the fight is in your in your favor. Also, um, by by doing that, like it's again, it's you would take kind of take the role of Slark, which Slark was doing the whole game, right? He he kept like running in. He's not even like killing anyone. He's just like running in, baiting spells, popping his ultimate so he doesn't die, and it just creates a lot of space for his team. And uh, with an earlier blink, you could have done the same thing. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's one way to approach it, uh, but you're definitely right, You your team lacked the frontliner. Oh, it doesn't help that the Phoenix was quite scared old, of course, again, the hero counters were a factor, so... And yeah, Windranger is uh, most effective when you do have a frontliner. So, uh, yeah, you cannot really play the hero to its full potential, but still, uh, like, room to adapt yeah. with item build, and you could kind of compensate it for it. Um, all right, just a second. So, uh, the game was 45 minutes. So yeah, it's pretty much an hour with this post game analysis. Well, I mean, pretty much 50 minutes. I'm gonna go mm -hmm. ahead and uh, read the chat, see if there's any questions in the thread as well. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, take a look at the chat. Any questions oh, I can answer? Oh shit! I tab tapped out and my crazy white screen burns my eyes. Oh, a lot of people, are in fact, asking uh, what your M was. That's definitely something I should put in the stream title. I mean, I answered it in oh, the chat, yeah. but um, it's 4.7. Oh, okay, I said 4.8. Close enough. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people <laughs> criticizing Phoenix. Um, yeah, it seemed just judging from scores that only the Zeus was really. I mean, I, I don't know. I the bounty. I I didn't feel any impact from bounty, and uh, the Earth Spirit was trying, but. He wasn't really that manly. He was just sitting back and stunning and silencing, but wasn't going in and ulting and keeping it up and shit. Yeah, it seemed uh, like a bit of an issue that uh, everyone is a little bit too scared. Yeah, they were afraid to not die. Uh, but sometimes it is the right play to die, which is a pretty difficult yeah. concept actually for a lot of new players to wrap their head around. That you know, it's like the same concept in chess: you gotta sacrifice to win. <laughs> Yeah, but overall, uh, strictly looking at the lineups, definitely a lot, a lot easier for the Dire team to execute. Again, as mm -hmm. I mentioned, they just had three heroes that could uh, yeah. run in, tank a whole bunch of damage. Two, uh, two mistake free, get out of jail card shit. Exactly, yeah. they had two of those on their cores. Um, yeah. And in fact, it was a jungling Ursa, actually, with Sark forming safe lane, which the bounty should have been able to punish really hard because jungle uh, jungle is from level one is quite weak and i'm sure he drops to low hp all the time uh but it looks like bounty did not go for that instead focus on the mid lane which i suppose did not work out too well um and earth spirit went mid very early on and they didn't kill the invoker they, yeah they committed a lot to mid and invoker i mean he was kind of slow on his farm but it ended up not mattering too much because they also gave a lot of kills away and Stark is actually a great matchup against Phoenix one on one. So yeah. Alright, well before we can go for another one. Maybe go for okay. more versatile hero this time. Okay. Um because yeah Wind Ranger. You're still in the party, right? Yeah. Okay. Just you can just queue again. Game client is out of date. Oh okay, I'll have to update as well then. A lot of updates lately. Very nice. 
Twitch TV. Let's see if this time it's not bugged and I can actually see you. Yay! Okay, accepted, let's go. Oh, I need to, yeah, okay, now let's go. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we, we could go for uh, uh, more versatile hero this time, something that's safe to first pick and will fit in any situation. Um, how do you feel about Invoker? I guess it might be a bit uh, overwhelming, especially if you don't play him much. And it also, like, listen to advice at the same time. Yeah. I mean, I can I can do it. I mean, initially you suggested Queen of Pain, but that's like a pure fighting hero. I don't feel she's very flexible either. I think the Invoker yeah. would be nice, especially Exordium Invoker, because uh, you're not bad at fighting, but it's a hero that's really a lot about farming in the early game and spit pushing until you get those big items up in levels, most probably levels. And I feel like he teaches you very well to be patient and not feel pressured to be joining fights even if your team is losing them and how to instead contribute by pushing towers, you know, getting towers, map control, goal for your team even if they're dying, stuff like that. Um, in fact, again, uh, Exhort Invoker is really, even though it's a mid-hero, like there's this preconception of mid that it's, it's a very active uh, position, which is true for some heroes. Um, I think Puck would be a pretty good example. He pretty much ganks as soon as he gets level 6, and you work on your blink and you never really stop moving around the map, ganking, gathering, ganking. But here, like Invoker, uh, I mean, you even go for Midas, which tells you a lot already. Like, it, it's here you really want to farm a lot with, and you're not ever, like, really, really, really ready to fight as an Invoker until you get uh, at least about 10k net worth, which means Midas, um, Upgraded boots, uh, a Yules, a Blink maybe, maybe both, and an Aghanim Scepter. Which obviously takes quite a while to farm all of that. And usually by that time you'll also be around level 13 or so. Try to snag the invoker as soon as possible. They're also more likely to let you go mid when you have that. True that. Nice puppy on enemy team. Kappa. Right, two people dodging. Like, what the fuck? Cup, a cup. <clears throat> nice new sets. Well, yeah, I like the Maggie and I like the PA. 